hello there everyone and welcome back to going snake i am jaja Lynx. this is episode 10 thanks so much for stopping by so this is a pretty significant episode i guess uh in the evolution of going snake the little town of going snake is starting to get all grown up uh you're gonna notice after this episode it is significantly taller so before I jump into this episode, I wanted to just do a quick live play again, just to kind of go over a couple of little things. Um, so the first one, I mentioned it in the last episode. We uh, have upgraded our trains. There aren't any in the station right now, but uh, here's some prop versions of them. And yeah, these are by B. Squicklehausen. They're amazing. And uh, yeah, you'll see those driving around. I just wanted to show those really quick because um, it's a. I'm planning on cargo and trains and stuff being eh, somewhat important to this city. So you're going to see a lot of those. Just wanted to go ahead and point that out. And I mentioned this in the last episode. I changed this to a parking lot road, um, but I guess I hadn't done that yet as of this save file. So you're gonna notice this road is a parking lot road soon. I just thought it looked better. Um, once the time lapse starts, I think that that'll have changed. And then one other thing I wanted to mention that I did that I totally forgot to even include in the last episode. I built it at the end of last episode's build is this apartment complex right here. Um, I thought this was pretty cool. It's attached to this parking deck. There's actually a path that runs through here. Uh, I don't know. I guess you can't really see it very well, but it's right there. And uh, <laughs> everyone who lives in this parking deck is sick, probably because they're living in a parking deck. But uh, yeah, we'll worry about that later. <laughs> okay, so those are the things that I wanted to mention about things that have already happened. And now I want to just quickly talk about what I'm gonna do in the next handful of episodes. So what I'm gonna focus on filling out now is gonna be this area. And I think it's gonna take a handful of episodes to do it. Um, I've got some plans. This street here is gonna be kind of like a continuation of Main Street, which this is Main Street. So I'm gonna have this commercial area continue on down to here and then it's going to kind of turn right and go down this way and um going out this way isn't going to be quite so commercial centric um and then also what i'm going to do is kind of i know when i first started the city i wasn't really planning on um having much of a skyline or having skyscrapers or anything like that but I kind of changed my mind on that. I'm not going to go too overboard, but I do want to put a handful of taller buildings in just to kind of give it a little bit of a skyline, something to sink your teeth into when you're looking at it from a distance. And I'm going to do that here. And that's going to be part of this episode. So you'll see that coming up in a little bit. Um, just kind of putting the foundations of what's going to be over here. I don't think I'm going to get to doing all of the details yet, but just kind of getting the base down for the skyline. So that's what's going to be there. And then this is going to be a little bit further off, but over here, I'm going to continue the warehouse district, I think. And I'm going to have um, just some staging areas for the trains because I downloaded these awesome new trains and I want to show them off a little bit and kind of have somewhere for them to go. And um, yeah, I guess that's mostly it. I've got some ideas for over here that I'm still kind of toying around with. Um, and then this area here, and then kind of along the water here, I'm planning on making some sort of a park. So that'll probably happen in a couple of episodes once I finish detailing this area. Um, and that's pretty much all I wanted to say. I just wanted to kind of give a little bit of a lay of the land and um, put out my plan for the next couple of episodes. So there it is, and let's go ahead and get into the build now. All right, here we go. 
So, just to kind of start off, I'm kind of finalizing, finalizing used loosely there, the road layout for this area. Um, I've already kind of got it in place, but I just kind of make a couple little tweaks here to get it more or less to what I had pictured. Uh, it was really important to me to have the tram line going down the center of the street. Because um, what I'm kind of picturing this as is a continuation of Main Street, just sort of a commercial center. But, and I wanted, I would love the tram to be going down Main Street also. I think that's just like a nice charm uh, for for the town to have. I, I think that that's a cool little thing just as part of the attraction of this sort of touristy downtown area. Um, but I, I built Main Street before I kind of decided that I wanted to do that. And I couldn't really figure out a good way to add the tram to Main Street. So it's a block up from Main Street. So that's fine, whatever. But I wanted to make sure that I had the tram incorporated into this area, which I think I mentioned <laughs> is like a continuation of Main Street. And what I'm kind of basing this idea off of, so I, I live in Nashville and our sort of touristy downtown area that everyone goes to visit when they come to Nashville is Broadway. Um, if you've ever been to Nashville, I'm sure you've been to Broadway. Um, and it does a similar thing where you've got Lower Broadway, which is the area with all the bars and honky tonks and all that stuff on it where you go to party all night. And it goes a couple blocks and then it hits the Cumberland River, at which point, you know, I can't go into the river. So it turns left onto Second Avenue and it just keeps going. There's more bars. Um, and that's kind of my idea behind this. It's something I had kind of had in the back of my mind for a while. And whenever I got to that area, that's what I wanted to do with it. So we're finally there and that's what I'm gonna do with it. So I was working for a little bit there on just kind of getting the basic idea of it down in terms of what the street is actually gonna look like. I wanted to have the cobblestone just to give it like a nice small town charm. I wanted it to have the tram line running down it and we'll get to the rest in a second. <laughs> um, but that's what I did there. And what I'm working on now is, this is just a really base layout for what's gonna be the transit hub. Um, so I laid down those roads and it's pretty much done for now. I'm gonna come back to that in a future episode. I'll probably have an episode that's entirely about the transportation and getting all that set up. But right now the city's not really big enough to bother with it. Um, I slapped down a couple bus lines, whatever. And you'll see that those, I'm just using the vanilla buses right there, but eventually that's gonna change and you'll see some nice modded custom buses driving around. Uh, so that's something to look forward to. All right, <laughs> I can't keep up with what's on the screen. So what I'm doing now is I'm laying down just a handful of buildings that I downloaded from the workshop. Like I mentioned, I kind of had a change in my mindset on how tall and big I wanted Going Snake to be. It's still, I'm still considering it to be a smaller city, but it, I don't know, with the addition of these, then it might have been upgraded from a town to a city. I decided that I wanted to have just a little bit of a skyline, so I think it'll look nice in the cinematics. I want to be able to see Going Snake a little bit better from a distance. And I think that these taller buildings really do add a lot. Um, a lot of personality, they just make it look better. So I wanted to have a little bit of a taller area, um, sort of like the urban core of downtown. So. I laid down just a couple buildings that I downloaded from the workshop that I thought kind of fit the vibe that I was wanting to go for. And I just kind of threw them down in places that I felt like would make sense. And that's pretty much it for now in terms of those. 
I'm going to do some more detailing on those later, but right now, kind of like what I was doing with the buses, I really just wanted to get the framework put down. Um, yeah. And I guess that that kind of leads me to an explanation on what exactly I'm doing with this episode and next episode. So this is going to be part one of two. This is our first two-parter in the series. I don't know how often I'm going to do that, but I kind of bit off more than I could really chew in terms of what I wanted to accomplish in this episode. Um, so I got to the point where I had a ton of footage already for this episode, and I was not even close to being done. So I just figured, let's just make it two episodes, and that's what I'm going to do. So for this episode, I am just going to focus on filling in the space that is um, Main Street leading to where Main Street turns and goes into this other part that's also really commercial. Um, and I think I'm going to call that second part Fourth Avenue, um, since I'm kind of basing it off of Nashville. When it turns, it turns into Second Avenue. Um, for us, Fourth Avenue is this is the fourth street from the water when you're coming into town. So I'm I'm calling it Fourth, whatever. Um, not going to be too terribly crazy with the names there. A nice grid system is easy. Um, but yeah, I'm going to call that Fourth Avenue. And the plan for this episode is just to fill in the space from Main Street and then where it turns to Fourth Avenue. And I'm not that worried about the details in this one. I do a little bit of detailing like you're seeing here with this parking lot and then that little like, I don't know, outdoor area, garden area at that hotel that I just built. Um, I do a couple of spots like that just because it's kind of up against the road and really my goal is just to fill in all the space that's up against the road in this episode so that's it i'm just trying to fill in that space and for part two of this that's when i'm going to do the detailing um and i hadn't quite decided on that at this point so i'm doing a little bit more detail right here but um as I kind of make my way down these two streets, you're going to see the amount of detail become less and less. And that's not because I'm slacking. It's not because it's not going to happen. It's just going to happen in the next episode. So, yeah, that's, that's the thought process there. Um, yeah. What else did I want to talk about? Those were kind of like the uh, main points that I had written on this sticky note here. Huh. Man, I gotta talk for 15 more minutes. Not really. I think it's more like 10. Um, so, this is a cool little building here. Um, I, I was dealing with some elevation change. Um, Main Street's kind of nice because it's pretty flat. But... 4th Avenue here, that's where we are now. We have now turned and we're on 4th Avenue. 4th Avenue is like right down a hill. So as I was going through this, I was having to deal with a lot of elevation changes. Um, and I just did a retaining wall here on this building. And I think it looks pretty nice. Threw some bushes down, just kind of spruced things up a little bit to uh, hide the fact that it's on a slope and things were a little bit uneven. This is a absolutely gorgeous building, by the way. I love this building. I I was trying to look up before I recorded this um, what building it is and who the creator was. I can't actually find it. I think it might be a building in Chicago called um, the Chicago Savings Bank Building. 
That's like the closest thing I could find in my collection to this building, but it doesn't, I don't know, it doesn't look quite right. In fact, I'm pretty sure it's not that. <laughs> so I don't, I don't know, I don't know. I don't know what happened. I can't find this building in my collection, but it's such a nice building. Um, yeah. And then that building behind it, that uh, sort of grayish building, that's another one that I wanted to talk about because I do really, really love that building. And sorry, it's kind of away from where I'm working right now, but every now and then you'll see it. It's that like whitish gray building behind that maybe Chicago building that I was just talking about. Um, and I'm kind of picturing that one is like our centerpiece of our skyline. Um, that one is 909 Walnut Tower in Kansas City. It used to be called something else. It's changed names a bunch of time, uh, a bunch of times. I guess it's uh, apartments now, but it used to be a bank. Um, that one's called, or that one's by a asset creator called Lightfooted. Um, but yeah, I really, really, really like that building. That one caught my eye pretty much immediately when I saw it in the workshop, and it was kind of a, a big part of why I wanted to throw a couple of taller buildings in there. I just found all these really nice buildings and I was like, man, we gotta go up a little bit. Some of these are too nice to, to pass up on. Anyway, um, yeah, so now we're kind of getting to the point where I do a little bit less detail. I say that as I start to detail like a back parking lot, but Whatever, actually, I'm gonna do that in a second. What I'm doing right here is I clipped these two buildings together and one of them had a garage in the back, but I clipped it into another building. So I didn't really want you to see the garage. So I was trying to cover it up. Um, I built a wall first and then it still just looked like a garage. So I, yeah, I threw a tree in front of it, whatever. Um, and then I gave these guys a little parking lot. Um, and this this was kind of an awkward spot. I, I wanted to do I wanted to give these guys some parking for the employees or something out back here and I gave them this tiny little parking lot and I only left myself enough room for like two actual parking spots in it. And um, so coming up here in just a second, I am gonna do kind of like I did in I think it was the warehouse areas episode. Um, I got on a roll building, or not really building, just kind of detailing the the uh, landscape around the convention center. We have a convention center, by the way. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm about to start detailing the area around that. And it's a nice long clip with no cuts. So I thought I would play some music again. So yeah, I'm gonna hush and here's that.
All right. And then there's a cut. <laughs> that's that's my thing. That's my thing that I'm going to just integrate into the series. Whenever I have something that I just really got on a roll with, and I feel like it's all good stuff, and I don't cut any of it out, I'm just going to shut up and play some music. I think that that's fun. You know, you don't want to listen to me for the whole 20 to 30 minutes anyway. I know I wouldn't. Um, so here's the thing. <laughs> I was... I wanted to do something where these trams went under the convention center. I thought that would be kind of cool. But I, they were too tall. It didn't work out. So I just... I kind of bailed on that plane. I might revisit it with a road. Um, but I bailed on that and I just looped them around the other direction. Since, unfortunately, that's the only way to really do the trams. Um, but yeah, this this convention center, I don't know why I decided to go so crazy with it. I raised it up and decided to just have some fun with these network walls, or net, network retaining walls, I guess. Stairs, ploppable surfaces, all that good stuff. And it's not done. This is very much an example of how this is part one, and part two is going to be all about detailing this whole area and um honestly this is probably my favorite part of this build um this will probably be what i kick off <laughs> part two with because i think it's coming out awesome and i, I want to get it finished we still need to do probably going to do some stuff with decals definitely have a lot of trees that need to be put in um right at the end of this episode here i put that um Lazarus Square, it's a uh, special building, a uh, specialty, whatever, monument, maybe that's the word, it's a vanilla monument, one of those park things, it's just a cool statue of aliens, you'll see it in a second, um, I put that in there because, I mean, why wouldn't you want a cool statue of aliens just sort of sitting at the entrance of your town's convention center? Um, yeah. So, um, yeah, at this point, pretty much wrapping up this build, I do some cool stuff here. I, I like the way that this comes out with these retaining walls just to kind of handle the um, elevation change since you can't do the ploppable surfaces like slanted. You gotta have them flat so I, I had to get a little creative with kind of creating the uh, transition and I think that this part looks really cool I'm gonna I don't quite finish it it's gonna be part of the detailing I'm gonna throw some bushes and stuff in there uh, next episode but we've got like three tiers there of what's gonna be garden or something I guess and I don't know I just I like the um, fact that the walls are curved I like the the tiers because I, I do think that I'm a little too boxy with my builds sometimes so just having that curved element there is really cool and yeah I'm looking forward to seeing how all of that comes together in the next episode but yeah with that being said um, that's pretty much it for this episode this was the last little bit of this build um, Lazarus Park is going to be thrown up there <laughs> in a second. And, um, yeah. We've got Main Street more or less done and filled in. Fourth Avenue is more or less filled in. Um, so stay tuned for the next episode where we're going to go ahead and start to. Or not start, I guess I already started. We're going to go ahead and finish detailing those two areas. And then I'm also, I think, time allowing, I'm going to work on filling in just some more of this space. Because um, there's a lot of empty space right now, as you'll see in just a second with the um, before and after. So I'm just going to start to fill in all that and um, start to kind of get what is going to be more or less a completed downtown. So. Looking forward to that. Thanks for watching. Um, my computer just went to sleep. 
<laughs> but I think we are about to have the before and after. Yeah, there it is. Pretty drastic. Anyway, thanks everyone for watching. Here's our cinematics and I'll be back uh, sooner or later. <laughs>